welcome to my latest sales roundup. Um, it's been a little over a week. Uh, just been really, really busy. Had a really busy weekend, etc. Christmas coming upon us really quickly. Um, so I've just picked out what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about ten or twelve items. Just quickly, these are only from eBay. Um, just try and remember what I paid for them and what they went for. So without further ado, this one went today. A 1980s AWAR, AWAR, AM, FM, a radio cassette, boombox, ghetto blaster. Um, this went, sorry, let's get rid of that. This went for, um, I sent uh, an offer on this one. It went for, with shipping, I got just over about £72 in all. Um, only paid £3 for it. Um, it was in really good condition. Um, we even gave a brand new power lead, like with all our items, this item was security marked. I was asked a, a question on the re, UK reselling group, was it a bin or a um, auction? I normally sell items like this, it's only my personal preference as a bin um, rather than an auction. Um, but you know what, what works for every individual person, as someone come back said they got a really good deal, it's the summertime, nice um, Hitachi blue uh, boom box, and uh, it went for a really good price, so you know what, whatever works for the individual, but really happy with that one, three pound into uh, 70 odd, absolutely brilliant. Next item was a BT power supply plug adapter. Um, Again, um, I do relatively well breaking these down. Again, it depends on, um, I had a couple of these, it depends on on the actual phone system it's, it's itself. If it's one that commands a good, a good, reasonable high value, I will sell the item complete. If not, I will break it down and I normally pay two to four, five pound for a system and to get 11.99 back on one of these, we sold two. Um, yeah, really happy. Um, um, good, good little uh, profit on it. Um, this was a vintage Goblin handy vacuum from 1991. Still in its original box. List it. I've lost count how long ago I had this. Um, took various offers over the years. Probably shot myself in the foot with it, to be honest. I paid about £4 for it. Um, we got, um, it was on, we took, I uh, sent an offer of £15.99 plus the shipping, so pretty close to the £20 mark, very happy just to see it go, freeze up a bit of um, space to be absolutely honest. Um, well, moving on, Pocket Dragon, um, this one was uh, the Pocket Piper from 1995, real Musgrave. Um, a lot of people should know by now, I, I deal a lot in pocket dragons, but last couple of weeks I've spent, what, 350, 450, 30, about 620, 650 pounds on three uh, collections of dragons. Um, this one was unboxed, it was with its uh, tush tag, which we will zoom in there, as you can see, that's the tush tag of the dragon. Um, made in 1995 by Real Musgrave. Um, yeah, really happy with the um, with the uh, return on that figure. The figure probably stead me about two pound eleven. Um, it went for f full asking price. Um, so yeah, really happy with that sale. Moving swiftly along. Um, someone you might have seen this in my intro my self introduction which was really want to apologize for that it was really really rubbish to be honest um ooh, let's get rid of that i apologize for getting a lot of pop-ups uh, this was a rizzo rat um this when there were some markings on the ears i did try to clean him up um but was unable to get rid of all the markings but it was listed at that uh, we got 22.99 plus 3.69 shipping cost 50 pence so um yeah really happy with the return on rizzo rat and he's gone really really fast so nice one on rizzo thank you 
Next, some, another pocket dragon sound. This is a what they call pocket passengers in a box. Um, the, the idea was you could carry them around in your in your pocket when you went out anywhere, be it at work, be it at um, school. It was in its original box. Get asked a lot of questions about the dragons of late. That one went for three forty nine plus shipping. Um, yeah, there can be some really good um, money in um, in the old uh, pocket dragons. Um, yeah, if anyone wants any more info on them, um, don't hesitate to send me a message or comment below. <sighs> Moving on, what we got next? A uh, probably one of one of my favourite sales of the weekend. Purely it's getting to Christmas and. I'm presuming someone has bought this for their um, their elderly mum or dad, so um, one of the worthwhile sales. Um, I paid three, four pound for these a long, long time ago, um, but they finally gone. Um, they went or oh, fifteen, nineteen plus shipping um, as new condition, really, really clean. So um, yeah. Happy with that one. Starbuck mug. Um, this one went to France a weekend as well. Um, I had no issues with shipping anything um, like this mug wise. I'm going to say mug wheel. I said gremlins. I don't know. Um, this went for 14.24 plus shipping. To France would have been something like a 50p a pound pickup at a local charity shop. Oh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, apart from this one here, which was a Halloween figure, but they went for 7 99 plus shipping. Um, bought a big collection of these. Someone please tell me the pronunciation of this here. Because I'm always getting it wrong. Tisum. I've no idea. But yeah, we we've, we've, I bought I bought bought about a hundred and um yeah, I've sold some for as much as about thirty five pound each single ones, um, with the tags. So again, like pocket dragons they can command a relatively good price. Not as good as the pocket dragons, but you know, I say it's gonna cost you ten, twenty, fifty pence. Uh, there is a bit of uh, money in them. Swiftly along, um, some people might have seen the new Dumbo film. Or well, the Dumbo film is on Sky at the moment. Um, this went abroad, um, which is a Disney store Dumbo elephant comfort blanket. It went tracked. Um, all in all, we're shipping. I think we got best part about 27 28 pounds, but it was in really good condition. Um, some comforters again do, um, do uh, give uh, very good uh, prices back. Um, so we've gone from the little plushes for Nightmare for Christmas to a comfort, and now, now I think again, totally. Different scale is a little Pentax or 0110 system. I think these were from the late 70s. I bought, I paid, I bought two cameras. Um, one was this little tiny Pentax. I believe they referred to it as the spy camera when it came out in the late uh, 70s. Really tiny. Um, the camera itself, um, the body had some issues, but for how much I, I made on this little camera. Um, on the case, the case sold really, really well. The lenses, the flash, um, and some other bits. And then we got fourteen pound twenty four for the, this tiny little booklet. Um, as you can see, it is a very tiny booklet, but for a little manual, yeah, um, that sold really well. And one I'm going to end on, so I don't want to bore you guys too long is a Disney Store classic mug. Um, 
I took an offer on the start the bidding had come back at £25. Um, I've seen these um, currently going for more than what I got this one listed for. But um, I took an offer of £37. So I think we've got just over £40 for this mug. Had it since, as George Michael would have said, last Christmas. Um, but it's now gone this Christmas. So really happy um, with that. Um, so yeah, that's just a few sales we've had. Had been meaning to do some kind of other video. We've been messing around with other various programs, etc. I just want to say thank you for all the kind um, words from um, the people that commented on my self-introduction video. It wasn't easy for myself to um, do it. Um, so thank you very much. Um, please hit the like and subscribe button below um please invite any of your friends that might be interested in this kind of content um we'll try and get saying out weekly if not a couple of times i think last week we got three videos out and that was the first for myself but um yeah if you can um like share subscribe let anyone know um the plan is to still get out there and um, get some more introduction -y videos done maybe get on some other chats we've invested in a better camera and a better mic so fingers crossed that kind of helps but yeah thank you very much i hope everyone has had a good a very good last uh, week just wanted to say i was unable to go to the reseller meet up in hitchin but it seems you guys had a massive massive blast um yeah, it looked absolutely awesome so uh, well done to nick and ha andrew at yours for uh, organizing that and um well done for all your people um to turning up and um turning hitchin into an absolute um Riot zone. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Take care. Have a good week. Speak to you soon.